Today we haven't come far. It's only 25 minutes down the road, about 12 miles from the house. We're in Porthcawl. Yep, love Porthcawl. Didn't realise it's the Porthcawl 10K. Yeah, to anyone else, it's the Porthcawl Run. 10 kilometres around the town. Course all laid out. And uh, we're going to see if we can... Hey, I should have given these two ladies some Wheels on Wheels stickers. Apparently there's a choir spurring them on throughout the course. And uh, let's take a walk. Come on. I've read that there's nearly four and a half thousand runners participating in today's race. Yeah. You gotta give it to some runners. Run through that pain barrier. False start, false start. I sure are you back to the start line. And soon we could hear what sounded like a distant choir. It turned out that it was the local rock choir supporting the race participants. Very impressed, and I suppose it's worth taking another YouTube copyright hit. And then just in front of me, look at these two idiots, nearly stopping the race. Yeah, coming right across in front of the runners and then running through the actual choir. Oh God, some people, I don't believe it. Yeah, enjoyed watching that. You get a good buzz, especially with the rock choir. I think they made it. I quite fancy a sing song myself now. So if this was 20 years ago, I would have been in the race too. Oh, when I look at it now, I just think back. I think, I wonder if I could do it. I wonder if I could do it. But as soon as I break into a little bit of a jog, I think my knee would say to me, nasty. You sit down again. I do think, I wonder Steve, did I throw my running gear out? Because I kept it for years thinking, never say never. But uh, I think I finally did say goodbye to it a few years ago. Bit of a harsh thing to do though, when you finally disperse the park with that last pair of running shorts. Feeling peckish now though. Yeah, what should we have? 
You can't beat a Greg's mind, can you? I can hear the Greg's calling me. Steve, Steve, you know you want it. Oh, look at this chap coming in. He must be the very, the very, very last person in the race. Go on, boy, go on. You'll get there. The last mile is downhill. Here's an aerial photo so you can see the start and finish line. Actually, it's all on the Esplanade. Okay, all this huffing and puffing watching these runners has given me a thirst. Time for a beverage. The Prince of Wales pub. I've often walked past it, but now we decided to go inside and what a lovely surprise. The Prince of Wales is a very ordinary looking pub from outside, but they had classic sports memorabilia in the bar. But walk on further and you're treated to a music band's heaven location. I'm a massive Beatles fanatic, so yeah, I was well happy with what I was seeing. And this is the best ceiling decoration I've ever seen in any pub. Wow, I think I got some of those records. And the beer garden had another surprise up its sleeve. Well, what can I call this? Sort of a surfing man cave sort of hideout? And I must say good beer too. I did enjoy my hobgoblin. So what a find that was. It just kept giving. We went through to the bar, loved it. Went through, little restaurant, and then out the back, what a beer garden. Wow. So the pub we're going to now is only basically a two minute walk from where we just were. And it's called the Picton. Uh, a good friend of mine, Gordon, and his wife Carol will be in there. Gordon's a DJ, so we're going to see DJ Gordon in action. Come on. Oh, it's been some years since I've uh, frequented this establishment. Gosh. I wonder how it's changed. Oh, that's where I used to load our gear in the past, but won't be entering there today as it's all chained up. So here we are, the Picton. Oh, who's featuring on today's Wills and Wheels? <laughs> who's on in that corner? Carol, and we'll be having a little interview, a live interview with Carol shortly. Welcome to the Picton. Welcome to the Picton. When's the first time you came here? Oh, flipping egg. Okay. <laughs> Good few years ago. <laughs> We've been here seven years, so yeah. But this going for the last two or so, I suppose, yeah. Where's your favourite place in Bordeaux then? My favourite place in Bordeaux. Well, I have to say the Picton, obviously, don't I? But then the Marine is obviously a very close second. On wherever. Sat on the seafront, wherever I can have a glass of wine. <laughs> The light show made us look as though we had some contagious disease. So why do you like both Gaul? I love both Gaul. By the seaside. By the seaside. <laughs> we should have a little chat with Gordy, DJ Gordy, and to see what we really got him into doing this form of entertainment. Yeah, well, I said when I was 21, a friend of mine was taken ill, so I took over for a, what was supposed to be a week for him while he was doing, I was doing it. But after six months, he wasn't well enough to carry on. So I basically took it over. I had three regular nights a week in Milton Keynes. And since then, I've just always done it. It's just been something I've enjoyed. I was in Falaraki in April, doing a session one night in a pub in Falaraki. So I'm now an international DJ. 